What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Show back with another video, man. Today I'm talking about Naruto Ninja Storm. Yes, Naruto Ninja Storm Five was announced. It was a uh, pretty much announced to be uh, coming out. That's all they pretty much said it was gonna be coming out, and we don't know the release date. We don't really know much about it, but I want to talk about what it could be. Talk about maybe possibly when we could see it, because if it lines up with my theories on when this might come out, I mean it, it'll make sense. But with that being said, gang, get into the game. All right, so you got some of the uh, boring kind of read-offs and facts type things. You know, I'm just gonna tell you a little general knowledge about Storm and the Storm franchise, in case you guys don't know. So first of all, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, also known as Naruto, Naro Ultimate Storm, is a game for PS3. The game was first unveiled in 2007 under the codename Naruto PS3 Project. Later, the game was renamed Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. Its sequel. Naruto Shippuden, also Ninja Storm 2, was released in October of 2010. Alright, that's pretty much all we gotta know. It's made by CyberConnect 2, the goats of anime game, and they also made a uh, little known game is Kakarot. They're still doing their thing on Kakarot. They're still making DLC. They're still going crazy. But we're not here to talk about CyberConnect 2's many, many great games. We're here to talk about one franchise in particular, that is Storm. When I first played Storm, I played the first one. I got know my whole history with this game. Let me tell you how excited I was for this game. Now back then, like yeah, back then, I'm kinda old. There was a demo for um Naruto Storm. There was a demo that uh was on PS3, I believe, and you would basically play it and and I think it had Naruto and Kakashi in the demo. And what was fire about this demo, you got to play like through the whole fight. And for me that was something I ain't never seen before. I remember me playing with my uh uncle, who's actually younger than me, but it's a whole thing. I wanna get into it. I remember playing with him, and uh, he's also a content creator, by the way. Check out some of his videos. But yeah, basically, we used to play the demo for hours and hours. We used to love playing the demo. I even played it so much that I basically had, uh, back then we had VH, VCR tapes. It was VHS tapes. And I was always a fan of, like, having the blank tapes. They could record TV and stuff so you could watch it later. I've always been a guy that, like, I like my digital media, man. I really do. Or in that case, I guess, I guess it'll be physical media, right? Whatever, but I remember doing the, like watching these VR, VHS tapes um, a while back. You know, I, I decided to pop them out, man. I was like, well, I got older a bit, a couple years in the line. I remember pulling up that VHS tape, and I had accidentally found out how to record the uh, the Naruto demo. So I was just sitting there watching myself just kind of play it over and over again, and realizing how great that game ended up being. So another quick little history about Naruto. I don't know how old you guys are, but I'm at an age where I can remember actually going to friends' house and like really running it up in Naruto Storm, like really go to somebody's house on some walk around the corner type stuff and really just challenge them, challenge them to like an agony guy. That's what we used to call it back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Play the best out of best two out of three matches. Um, you know, people talking reckless, get home right from school, go straight to the friend's house and play it. Weekends were the best time, man. You know, just you had more time. Like when you got off Friday, you know that you didn't have to go to the school Saturday, so you were good. But enough about the reminiscing, man. We, I'm pretty sure we all have our own special memories with the Naruto Storm franchise. Storm Five. Now, of course, I, I'm caught up with the Boruto manga. I'm not caught up with the Boruto anime because it just basically came out. I believe we said 90% or 80% of the entire anime is filler. That's absolutely insane. That speaks to a whole larger problem. They basically are trying to milk a cash cow out of a, a monthly manga. The manga is monthly, so it comes out every month. And they're basically trying to squeeze all these episodes in between to kind of filter out and extend the monthly long comment, like the monthly long content. This can cause kind of problems with the quality of the anime because we have a lot of episodes that aren't direct canon. And so they're, they're written in a way that's kind of really wonky. I don't know if you ever watched Boruto, man, but I I try to be a true fan. I watched every single episode, including all the fillers. I watched every single one. So all the different Chocho episodes and the episodes that they fought like the most boring villains in all of Naruto. I had to sit through all of that, like all of it. So I've seen all of the bad fights, all the annoying fillers. I seen some actual good fillers or good anime canon episodes, cause that's a lot of it is anime canon, and it's just stuff that was skipped skipped ahead in the manga. But just know that I'm caught up, man. I'm caught up on the manga. I don't really want to spoil it for anybody, so I won't really spoil it here. But let's just say Kawaki and Boruto are right now on some really crazy stuff. It looks like the time skip is about to happen. Uh, we'll finally see that infamous scene on the top of the roof where Naruto, no Naruto, but Naruto's dead in that scene or sent away or whatever he said. 
when Kawaki and Boruto are basically fighting on the roof. You know. Well, eventually, it seems like we're getting to that scene. We're getting to be in that part where that may happen. Now, as far as Kawaki goes, he's definitely my new, my new favorite character of Boruto. I feel like his backstory with him being like a very non-trusting, with him being a very non-trusting individual, and with him, you know, kind of building a fatherly bond with Naruto and him wanting to protect Naruto and him protecting Naruto in a certain way that Naruto may not ask to be protected. You know, he's the type that's like, I'll sacrifice myself to the enemy just to make sure Naruto's safe. He really loves Naruto and I really love that aspect of and, and their relationship. And that makes me love him as a character. But that's just it though. You know, Storm 5 will come out and he'll be a centerfold character. Like He'll be a character that everybody want to play with, but... What characters do we really decide to use? I mean, we got all of the OG Naruto characters, but if you really want to make a Storm 5 that's really based off Boruto, do you really want to rely too much on the characters like the show does? I mean, I'm pretty sure we'll get Naruto burying for him. I, I guess it is a spoiler, but not really. You guys don't have to know what I'm talking about. Even though I'll probably put a picture up. We got that for him, you know, and certain adult characters like Jigen and others that shall not be named. You definitely got Code, and you have, um... His group of people that's in the manga I won't talk about. I guess everything in the anime is fair game at this point. I definitely wouldn't want to put Metal or Rock Lee in it. Because I, I just think that regardless of what kind of Naruto story that you make. I think it's going to be the wrong type of Naruto story. Like to be to be truthfully honest. I feel like if you make a story with Naruto and Boruto and stuff. Every Rock Lee character in that show is going to be trash. Metal Lee, Rock Lee, Sand Lee. Wind Lee, Fire Lee, it don't matter. Every Lee in that show is going to be trash. And I think that's just the, the Lee's the joke character at this point. While we all want it better for my boy after he dropped the weights against Gara, it doesn't really seem like he's going to get the, the, the love and care that he needs. As far as characters, man, it's not that bad. I mean, you can add like the Seven Swordsmen from the Boruto. You can add like maybe the boring uh, Rock Village enemies. Like, it was so boring, it almost threw me out the whole entire anime. You definitely got, um, Kara as villains, and that's, that could be interesting. I would love to play a Storm game with Delta. I feel like that'd be fire. But I would assume that this new Storm game would have to cover stuff in the manga. I feel like it has to. Because there's not enough canon material where you can make a Storm game that isn't based a lot around the anime canon episodes. Like, the story would basically be Boruto... Uh, going to tuning exams, doing that the whole thing, and then if then it starts the Kara arc, which is like crazy, because if you realize that 90% or 80% of Boruto is all fillers, you realize that you don't really have a lot of canon material. Of course, the game can use fillers like it's nothing, though. I mean, if you're doing like an RPG-type Naruto game or Boruto game, and you're doing the story in that way, you can do a lot of content with that. Maybe add in some of the extra storylines that aren't really canon, but it could be interesting to play. All in all, though, just to hop back on track real quick, I think Storm 5 will be a great game. I think it'll do numbers for sure. I think people will buy it just because of Storm 5. I really want to see what they learned from Demon Slayer, like the game of Demon Slayer. Because I think they did the story mode of Demon Slayer really well. I mean, obviously it mirrored what they did for the original Storm games, but Storm games have always been very noticeable when it comes to doing story mode. Their story modes are based off the actual real-life story, so it's a good chance they'll do that right. Um... Like I said, Kakarot really did something really great for them. But I, what I really want to see in terms of Storm 5 is the c capabilities. I really want to see what a new newer system can do. I really want to see what PS5 and Xbox Series X could really do. Uh, in terms of a Storm game, like I know faster loading is a given. But I mean, like really show me some impressive, you know, with a newer system, better fighting and stuff. Maybe they can improve on the internet a little bit with this next game. And just make it a more interesting and competitive experience. I said, especially with the PS5s being what they are, PS5s and Xbox Series, they can definitely do something with all that extra firepower. To me personally, I would love to have like a mixture of some like a broken bond type story mode where you actually play the story mode through Kakarot. Like Kakarot is basically a story mode, but the fighting is like Storm. That would be very interesting to me. But with that being said, guys, a couple questions for you at the end of this video. What do you feel like this new Storm could cover in terms of story? I feel like we have to only cover the canon parts, maybe. I don't really see the need for any parts that aren't canon. Next question is, when do you think it'll come out? I do think it'll come out 
probably in the next three years. Okay, I'm claiming the next three years. Um, sounds like they've already been working on it. And with games like that, man, it's, you know, they're not really starting from the ground up. So they'll be able to reuse a lot of them different models and stuff and slap different color of paint on them and stuff. And it'll, it'll, it'll all fall into place. Last and final question. Do you remember when they said this was going to be the last storm? Because I do. I remember mean, when they said that Storm 4 was going to be the last storm and that was it. But I guess with Boruto coming out, well, I guess the technically is true. So that's Naruto Storm. It's probably Boruto Storm. But honestly, that just sounds ridiculous. Like, Boruto is just the, the, the child name of Naruto's kid. And it's like, you know, Boruto, Naruto. It's like, whatever. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys next video.